Hello, everyone. This is the first part of the English Foundation program. In general, the learning outcome is to identify the sentences and clauses. And today's material is about sentence with one clause. In English, sentences are commonly structured with one subject and one verb. And it is important for you to be able to differentiate the subject and verb in the sentence. Also, in paper TOEFL test, you will find this kind of questions about the structure of sentences. But before going further, make sure that you understand that a sentence always has a subject and a verb. A sentence in English can be divided into various parts. Let's start with the smallest part, the phrase. A phrase contains a group of words, but without a subject and a verb. For example, at the campus or after a discussion. These examples meet the characteristic of a phrase. It is a group of words because it contains more than one word and it doesn't have a subject and a verb. Next is the clause. A clause contains a group of words with a subject and verb in it. We're going to have some examples by using the phrase from the previous slide. Julia studies at the campus. Can you guess why is this a clause? Yes, because it is clearly seen that it has a subject, that is Julia, and a verb, that is studies. Now, what about sentence? Sentence is also a group of words containing a subject and a verb. Yet, what makes it different with a clause is that sentences can stand alone, that is a clause, or be combined with other clauses. In other words, a clause can sometimes act as a sentence, but sentences can also be formed with more than one clause. We will learn about this on the next part, so our focus now is to identify sentence with one clause. Remember, every clause must have a subject and a verb. The typical structure questions that you can find in TOEFL test is that either the sentence is missing a subject or verb, or even the sentence has extra subject or verb. Here is another example from the TOEFL test. Can you guess which answer is correct? Notice that there is a verb, was, but there is no subject. Answer C is the best answer because the singular subject, traffic, agrees with the singular verb, was. Well, D could also be the subject, but it's plural and does not agree with was. Let's try another one. Can you guess which answer is correct? As we can see here, the sentence has a subject, that is, engineers, but we can see there is no verb in it. While in the options, B is the only verb, so it is the best answer. Okay everyone, let's have some quiz to test your understanding. Circle the subject and underline the verb. Please indicate if the sentences are correct or incorrect. There are four questions for you to answer. Number one is already done for you as an example. Let's look at the answers. Number one, a schedule of the day's events can be obtained at the front desk. From the sentence, we can see that there is a subject, which is the word schedule and the verb is can be obtained. Since the sentence has a subject and verb, so the sentence is correct. Number two, a job on the day shift or the night shift at the plant available? Well, we should be careful with this kind of question because it is tricky. As we can see at the sentence, the only subject that it has is the word job where the other words function as phrases. We can see that there is no verb in the sentence, so the sentence is incorrect. Number three, the new computer program has provides a variety of helpful applications. 
As we can see in the sentence, there is a subject in it, which is program. And then it seems that there is a verb, which is the word has and it provides. But since it comes with the present perfect tense form, it should have been written in a verb three form, which is has provided instead. So it's still incorrect. Number four, the box can be opened only with a special screwdriver. In the sentence, we can see that there is a subject, that is the word box, and a verb, that is, can be opened. So, this is a correct sentence. To complete today's session, we're going to have some practice. Please open your browser and type the link as seen on your screen. Make sure you type the same. Finish the practice and get the points. Wonderful! Now you have known and are able to identify sentence with one clause. Thank you for today and see you on another part of English Foundation program. Goodbye!